Okay, all right. <laughs> Hello, guys. Can you come to can you come to us? Can you come to us? Okay, okay. Attention, please. Let it, so you want them to come to me? The vice president. The okay, so the vice president is going to speak. Hello? Denise here. Yeah, so let them come. Family of our late brother, representatives from the Ghana Football Association, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to the VIP launch of the Kutuka International Airport. This evening, we are here to receive the mortal remains of our late brother, friend, a former player of Turkish club, Atai Sport, and Ghana Black Stars, Christian Achu, who was a victim of a devastating earthquake that occurred in Turkey on 6 February 2023. So as you can see, the barrier party is marching briskly with the uh, mortal remains of our dear brother, 
and you will come and then place the mortar with it here. And after the clergy will give us a prayer. May I also respectfully acknowledge the presence of the Turkish ambassador. Okay, Razak, so if you can hear me, Christian is beginning his final journey. Um, Let him, let him come to us now. Let him come to us now. Now. Let him come to me now. So as you can Zoom. see, the barrier party is marching briskly with the water remains of our dear brother. Yes, I can hear you. Sure. Razak, I'm um, sorry, I, I'm told that my commentary is coming in, but Christian is draped in the Ghana flag at the moment. And you can see that the burial party, we've been told by somebody here that that's a burial party that will get him and uh, place him onto that stand after which he'll be received by the government delegation, his family, and then it goes on from there. So I'll let you watch in silence as we respectfully get the return of a son, a father, a brother, and a patriot. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to acknowledge the presence of Ghana, Ghana's ambassador to Turkey. So the barrier party will march on. I respectfully invite the military clergy to give us a word of prayer and to be led by Ben Odom Eji Khan. Mr. Vice President, distinguished guests, let us continue this ceremony in the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sorry. Let us pray. So a religious, small religious ceremony will be held. Um, Christian was a devout Christian and I suppose that the Christian rites will be done after which we continue here at the Kotoko International Airport. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers and be merciful to your son, the late Christian Achu, whom you have called from this life. Welcome him into the company of your saints in the kingdom of your light and peace. Father, God of all consolation, in your unending love and mercy for us, turn the darkness of death into the dawn of a new life. Show compassion to your people, especially the family of the late Christian Achu and all Ghanaians in our sorrow. Be our refuge and our strength to lift us up from the darkness of this grief to the peace and light 
of your prayers. As always, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim maliki wa middin. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'inu ihdina surat al-mustaqim. Surat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim. Qayri al-maktubi alayhim wa al-dhalin. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala ahalihi wa ashabihi wa man wala. Allahumma altufina fi taysiri kulli asir. Fa inna taysir al-asir ilayki yasir. Wa nas'alu taysir fi dunya wa al-akhirah. اللهم رب الناس أسب الباسج فيه وأنت الشافع لا شفاء إلا شفاء وكشفاء لا يقدر سقمة إن لله وإليه راجعون راجعون سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين. Dear Lord, we continue to pray for all sportsmen and women. Of our nation scattered in other parts of the world, especially our footballers. We commit them into your hands and we ask that, Lord, as they lift up the flag of Ghana higher in other disciplines of sports, you continue to protect and guide them. We pray, dear Lord. quick and we pray in the name of Christ Jesus that by your mercy forgive our iniquities of the world that these calamities will stay away from us we pray O oh God that you receive the soul of your son Christian and future son whom you have called to your eternity father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, the clergy. So you heard the prayers from the military clergy, and these were the Christian and the Islamic prayers. We have an in-house MC here from the the government, we believe, and so we'll be we'll be hearing a rep of Christian a choose family. And then we continue um, the ceremony. So the family head, we believe, is Nene Kofi Chasam the third, and he will speak presently. On behalf of the Chasam family of Adam, and on my own behalf as as the elder of the family. I'm giving of of that has contributed since this thing happened to today. We are grateful. We are saying, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you very much, Nene Chasam. From the Sporting Fraternity and the Ghana Football Association, I will humbly invite the General Secretary of the Ghana Football Association, Prosper Harrison Addo. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Bahomia, Honorable Ministers of State hearing guarded, other dignitaries from government, I stand here on behalf of the football family, both in Ghana and the rest of the world, as we receive the remains of our dear brother and for many our son
wife and children and in the entire external family. That we stand here today, there lies a son of Ghana who brought a lot of joy to our hearts. Outside the field of play, he contributed and touched a lot of lives with his good deeds. And in the past few days, we've heard so many that he did without broadcasting it. And many are sharing testimonies about how he supported and helped them. We are reminded of the joy he brought to us. And on that note, the football family would stand shoulder to shoulder with family and indeed the government of Ghana so that together to our star who brought joy to our hearts. Thank you very much. Thank you, you reps from the Ghana Football Association and the football fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for us to listen also to the remarks from the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. The Minister for Information, Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, the Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration. Ambassador to Turkey, Turkey's Ambassador to Ghana, the Secretary General, Executive Association, and members of the GFA, Nene Chwasam, and Members of the press and Ghanaians, it is a very sad day that we are here to receive the mortal remains of our brother, our son, our husband, our uncle. The tragedy that occurred in Turkey about a week ago is one that was devastating. Hey. Our brother Christian Achu would be found alive. We hoped against hope for every day that passed. We prayed and prayed, but he was found. To take this opportunity on behalf of the president, condolences to the Chwasam family. Need him from Turkey home. I'd like to extend my condolences to all of you for this deep loss. Condolences to the footballing fraternity who played for the Black Stars and he was much loved and we will sorely miss him. 
like to extend my condolences it is a painful loss a very painful one but as the good lord says in the good book that from him we came and to him shall we return we pray that the soul of Christian Achu is in perfect peace in the bosom of the Lord. Thank you. With the family in providing him a befitting burial. Thank you very much for your attention. All right. Thank you to Mr. Vice President. I shall now call on the military clergy to give us a benediction before the barrier party comes in. A brother, a friend, a dear footballer, Christian Abu Chassam, the Lord who gave you to our world who has called you to his eternal rest. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit wipe away the tears of our eyes and strengthen our faith in this difficult time. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Reverend Commodore J. So I'll call on the barrier party to close up. Speech is done, prayer said, it's now time for so Christian to leave the airport, the barrier party, the barrier party will now will march will with the remains of our dear brother, take Christian the clergy in front and to the hearse. into the hearse and then depart for family rights. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the body of our dear brother, Christian Achu, has been put in the head and it moves great to its destination.
We've come to the end of this brief event here at the VIP launch of the Kotoka International Airport. Our dignitaries will take leave of us, and after we all follow, may the soul of our dear brother Christina Chu rest in peace. So the ceremony, short and to the point, has come to an end as the body of Christian is received by the family and the people of Ghana, represented by the government, of course, Vice President Al Haji ba um, Baumia. Mahmoudou Baumia is here as well. We know that the sanitation minister is here, Minister of Information is here. The delegation from the Ghana Embassy, Turkey, here. Francisca Ashtio the ambassador is here. And then the Turkish ambassador in Ghana and her delegation are also here. GFA represented by Prosper Harrison, the general secretary. And also Frank Nelson, and one of the committee members are also here. You can see all of them on the stairs as well. Razak, let's uh, come to you briefly as we get closer and try and get a statement from some of the other guys there. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll try and move closer and get a, a reaction from some of the people. Yes, Razak. Oh. Yes, come, 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 come. Yes, Razak, so um, things are ending. We'll just try and get a few statements from some of the dignitaries here. This is Reverend Lawrence Tete, also here as well. Let's hear what Pastor Loris Tete has to say. It's even more personal than you can imagine. I've known Achu personally. I've known Achu as a young Dangme boy. And I've also known Achu when he arrived in London as a young boy to play for Chelsea. Achu was one person who was loving, very kind, and very respectful. And what most people didn't know that Achu loved the things of God. I had a personal relationship with him, more so because he even came from the Dangme background. Myself and Pastor Marlon, were people that really had a good relationship with him. And I think that I will say, let us respect the dignity of this funeral. Let us not take for granted anything that we do, especially our media fraternity. This is a very sensitive time and hard time for the entire nation, and especially the close family of Achu, and let us respect it. Those of us who have even had relationship with the family and him, Achu himself, I think we should be very mindful in the way we do it. But having said that, we as a people should learn to celebrate people whilst they are still alive, rather than paying tributes when they are long gone. Today as we mourn Azu, today as we mourn Azu, Atu, and Achu Christian because of the lost, we should also remember that he served Ghana in a very special way. I remember the days when I have to camp with the black stars and the sentiments are too hard. Achu was somebody who was very selfless and very giving. If we talk about a philanthropic per excellence, Achu was. And most people didn't realize that beyond the field of play, Achu was also supporting many orphans. I have personal testimonies that, and people I know personally that Achu has helped. And I pray that his soul rests in peace. But please let us not forget that Achu came from a family 
And this is a very difficult time, not just for the nation, but personally for the many people whose life depended on our truth. And we need to respect that. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will all, when God calls us, will be called in a time, not a painful time like this. And the death that Achua had died has been a very tragic one. And for the nation to grieve for the past two weeks, it has not been an easy feat. Right, so Pastor Lawrence Tete, Pastor Lawrence Tete giving us a, a bit of advice, especially to the media. Um, while they were speaking, we saw Christian Achu's twin, Achupui, just rush and get in there. And just as the pastor, the good pastor said, a few of the uh, media friends, you know, poked their cameras in her face and um, it, it, it quite angered some of the family as well and I suppose that's what he's talking about um, ceremony is about to be done here very very solemn a few people can't control their tears as well and so Razak um, as we look for a few more people to speak to I'm sure you'd want to uh, wrap things up from that side we'll come back to you pretty shortly Yeah, George Afriye is standing behind there. He has not said anything at the moment. We'll try and get um, some others. But here is the man who discovered Christian Achu, Abdul Hayate um, of Cheetah FC. He's been on Joy FM many times. We'll hear him now, Mr. Hayate. As you watched the body, as it left the plane and was placed in that middle ground. Very sad. Very devastating. Um, no, Christian. Allah Almighty knows best, but I think Christian does it deserve this. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, looking at Christian going through um, the cargo session of the plane, somebody who is used to sitting in the business class, being brought in this way, then uh, it's a lesson for everybody who leaves now. That there is a need for us to um, worship our maker, stay humble, and then uh, respect each other. Well, what, what would you say about Christian and the fact that he was such a humanitarian? Everybody has been speaking about it. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know which. I don't, know which <laughs> don't worry. Go with GTV first. <laughs> this was your question again. How would you want him to remember it? Like Gary said, he was such a humanitarian selfless spirit but his immortality is what we should think about what should that be what should that legacy be I think um, for me I would describe Christian as uh, an angel on earth um, Christian was a Christian um, the way he does his things sometimes you don't believe it um, I think we need to remember Christian for his generosity how humble he is how determined he is. And I think this should inspire footballers, what I'm going to say. I remember on the first day that he had to take the first flight to FC Porto. I was at his airport to see him off. And uh, when he sat on the plane, he actually sent me a text message saying that, uh, Mr. Yate, I really appreciate you. I'm not going to return. I'm going to succeed on these trials. He was left with 10 days for the January window 2020, 2010 to be over. And he said he was going to succeed. He was going to make me proud. He was going to make himself proud. He was going to play football um, to the highest level. And uh, the world will hear the name Christian Achu Chasa. Um, I think 13 years today. Um, you see, today we have the vice president here. We have big dignitaries around the world sending their condolence messages to Christian Achu. You have um, big organizations like FIFA, CAF, the EPO, 
um, people around the world, the, the poorest, the wealthiest, the smallest village, are all actually um, saying good words of Christian Achu. So it tells me that whatever he said to me um, when he boarded a plane, he, he have done it, but it saddened my heart that his last flight back to Ghana was the one that I have to come and then receive his body. But I think I'm very proud of him. Mr. Yate, you knew him more than most. Um, and I'd have to ask, if he were here watching us right now, what would he tell the millions of people who are in tears and crying? What would he say? He would tell them not to cry. Christian don't like seeing people unhappy. He want to see everybody happy. He believes he's from a poor background and always want to see people happy. So uh, he would say, don't cry. And I believe that is what we don't need to do because uh, we are crying. But God Almighty who brought Christian to us knows very well that he's come and accomplish whatever he wants him to do on earth. And then uh, God needs him more than we. And I believe Christian is happy wherever he is currently. And I pray that Allah Almighty um, have mercy on his beautiful soul. The last thing I'll ask you will make you smile a bit, I'm sure. This guy was called the Ghana Messi. It was a big bedding, but he carried it so well. And yet, now that he has gone, what people remember him for is for his humanity. As somebody who knew him again more than most, how does that make you feel that somebody so talented on the field did so much of it? Oh, very happy. Two things from what you just said. One, the name Achu on the back of the jersey. I actually told him to choose the name Achu at the back of the jersey instead of Trasam. We made fun out of it to say the name Trasam is not going to sound very well in the ears of the commentators. So I believe Achu, Achu will be very nice. And when he went to FC Porto, he told me, I've forgotten the number, they've given him number 40 something and uh, he put in Achu on the back of the jersey just as I wanted and I said thank you. Again, um, he loves Messi so much and I remember when he went to Porto and he was coming back, Porto gave him a DVD of Messi, Ronaldinho and one other player that I've forgotten and then I told him you are the, the black Messi, the African Messi and then that name came to stand by as you are saying, apart from his talent on the field um, he took on to helping the need the needed because he saw that he was from a, a poor background and he need to help people uh, with whatever he achieved in playing football Abdul Hayati condolences to you and to everybody else and all the best so um, that's Abdul Hayati popularly known as the man behind Cheetah FC um, a football club in the lower divisions but Christian has always been associated with that club because he was playing for them when famously a trial session was held, like you heard, somewhere between 2009-2010. Um, long story short, that's where his journey into Europe and into the global limelight started. A few more dignitaries here as well at the Kotoka International Airport as the place empties quite rapidly um, on what has been a very solemn occasion as well. Um, Razak, yes, so you were asking me that question just before we spoke to Abdul Hayati about, I think it was you, Muftal, George Free. He has not spoken at the moment, um, but I think he came with the family on the Turkish Airways flight. You know, George Free has a lot of business dealings in Turkey as well, so um, we're told that when the issue happened, he was, he was one of those who was called upon to do some of the back channel work as well. So Muftar and Musbao, um, any more questions for me while we get a few more people to speak to from here? Okay, we'll now get to the GFA General Secretary. Um, let's go and listen to him. Fine, thank you, sir. Let's hear from the General Secretary of the FA, Prosper Harrison Ado. This FA, the 
Turkish FA uh, clubs across the world, players across the world, people he's played with and played against, uh, people uh, who have come to contact with him, they've all sent their condolences and at this moment are all grieving. Uh, we, we wish to send our condolences to everybody. Indeed, the Ghana Football Association also wish to send condolences to the Turkish FA because they've lost not only Achu, but they've lost other players as well, some juvenile players. And so we also offer our condolences to them as uh, we grieve in this difficult moment.